I'm going to read this first one. Sure. Is it a crazy guy? It's not. Okay. But here's the thing about the crazy dad stuff. Okay. The crazy dads always say they're not crazy dads. Always. But I can appreciate the challenge of not knowing when you cross the line into crazy dad land. Like it's not that, it's not really that clear. You can, you can appreciate what? I can appreciate the like challenge? the challenge of as the dad. Yeah. Like not knowing where the line is. Like at oh, what point sure. have I crossed into a crazy land? Right? Because it's not really that clear. It's kind of, it's not really like a defined spot that you have to get to. Now you're crazy. It's like a bit of a spectrum, as they say. Yeah, because you either care a lot or you don't care at all. Yeah. And that's, it always comes down to the intention and whatever. And there's a lot of gray or whatever. So anyways, <clears throat> I'll start with this one because it's the longest. And then we'll yeah. get progressively shorter as we go here. So um, this is from Joe. So Joe, um, reaching out, love the content, extremely informative, yada, yada. Um, my question is because, uh, the likelihood of going high, high to high levels in hockey is honestly slim to none. And the percentages are so low. My son, who's six, six year old son yep. is starting to enjoy the game, which is what I wanted first and foremost, took some nice steps last year. And in the off season, we mess around with, uh, some puck skills. He does one skating lesson a week. And, um, he recently went with someone who gave him a private lesson and he loved it smiling the whole time, which leads me to my question of how much is too much at that young of an age. I'm not trying to be that crazy parent who thinks by investing more money into lessons, it will help his chance of getting to the next level at an older age. And I certainly do not want him to get burnt out and hate the game. I would just love some insights because you guys talk a lot about older levels of hockey. Thanks. What's the last sentence? Cause you talk about. You, he said, because you talk about a oh. lot about the older ages, he'd like oh. our input on like the younger age. Okay. So, um, so sifting through all that, it's the kid's six years old. How much is too much for a six year old? Yeah. That's the question. Have at it. Yeah. Well, okay. So I, I wrote down a couple of things there. So six years old. Yep. So there's, there's, um, there's no such thing as training for a six year old in my opinion. It's it's just playing hockey number one and 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 of course if he enjoys it that's awesome so and um, hopefully, yeah he could play some hockey like like six years old is all about having fun that's all it is that's all it is man um, you you can't get your hopes up in any way uh, listen no I was a dad when you're six when the kid is six years old and you see him do well you get very happy and then you naturally think oh there might be something there with my son and there might be actually. Um, but it's not a time to get too excited about it, but, it, it, but if he enjoys it and he's actually doing pretty well, then okay. So we got, this looks like a sport that we might be able to play. Cool. But he's six. Right. Okay. And I'm not saying Joe, you're a jerk or anything. That's, I'm just saying, just saying what, what I feel. He, he's six. So that's great. Yeah. At seven, he might take, take up lacrosse and hate hockey or he might go into dancing, ballet dancing and yeah, say, yeah, this point. is even better. Yeah. Right. You know, no, I'm yeah, being honest, sure. right? Uh, because kids change their minds all the time. But I would assume most kids that start playing hockey like hockey, and if you like it, you're going to play for a long time, which is the most important thing. Uh, the next thing is like he uh, that he said was he was t he's made steps, uh, and I was I was I would say that taking steps is, means that he made improvement. If I'm reading it correctly, right. if you're reading it correctly, yep. so yes, and that's a natural progression, right? It's like when a, a, a child first learns how to eat, he starts with, with his hands, then they use a spoon, they get it on their forehead, and then it gets better as you get be better at it, right? Yeah. Those are steps that just natural improvements. Yeah. It's the same with reading and anything that you do. So if you get on the ice more than once, and you get it, right, you're gonna, you should get better progressively. It's kind get of by better. default. So right? steps, okay, th and that's good. But this is good. Yeah. It's better than skating, you know, but that's natural. So that's good. Um, he had a lesson, a skating lesson, or goes to once a week, goes on a skating lesson. Yep. Uh, now, th this is where I would say, okay, skating lesson, what type of lesson is it? It's it's good and, well, the intention is one thing, and it's good and maybe not so good. It's good if um, if you go to a very, very, and I assume it is. I assume it is. I'm, uh, so I assume that the lesson that your son went to at six was like a, cans well in canada we call it a can skate that's yeah. canada skate which is a very simple form of you know having kids skate down the ice it's it's beneficial maybe maybe not but at least you're on the ice and i think it's good 
to do that. That's fine. That's cool. You can learn how to fall, stand up, section out of life. So that's cool. A private lesson at six, I think that's where you you might be you might be uh, getting a little aggressive. What if you re- what if the kid begs you to do the private lesson? Well, why did he learn about the private lesson? What do you mean? How did he learn? How did the six year old learn about a private lesson? Like, let's say he, they're Someone at the rink, him. and before he goes on with his team, there's a guy on the ice training a kid, and he's like, "Hey, dad, can I do that?" Like that kind of thing. How do you handle that? Like my yeah. point being, however you heard about it, yeah, it's not like dad said, "Hey, there's this private teacher. Would you like to do that?" It's like if the kid really wanted to do it, and he's like begging you and begging you to do it, and you know you can afford to do it or whatever. Yeah, what I do guess you think that's that? the answer. Is if you can afford to do it and you have the time, that's fine. And just the kid I mean, really I'm not wants here to. to. I'm, I'm not actually here to say you're dumb or you're smart for doing it. Yeah, my, yeah. my opinion is a private lesson at here's 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 why my opinion is this: a private lesson at six years old is not a private lesson and it's not a beneficial uh, use of your time or your money. Here's why. You know this from if we brought in a a six-year-old here for a a workout, just a private workout, the brain is not ready to absorb what you're going to tell them. Yeah. Right? Yep. So that's the point. The, yep. the 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 boy the, so all you're doing is basically like not much in a private lesson yeah, yeah. right it can't be much that's six it can't be much maybe right. the kid can skate around pretty good but the teaching and taking the information is not happening right it, or if it happens it's like so yeah, insignificant sure. you can learn that in three seconds mm-hmm. at eight yep right so that's what i would say about the private lesson so what was the final part of that question so i so my point is you don't necessarily need any private lessons yep. at that age Yep. And, and and so just to take that a step further, if you did need a private lesson at some point, for me, my cutoff would be when uh, my when when your son or your player is at a point where you know that you know that he's wants to be a player or there's one specific thing that he really wants to work on because I don't want to sit here and say you, if you're not a good hockey player, you're not going anywhere, you should never have a private lesson because I don't know your intention. If you yeah. just want to have if you want to work on your shot so you can be a better shooter, and there's a, a shooter, a shooting coach that's very good at it that can help you shoot. Well, that's okay. Yeah, sure. But I'm saying if you're making, if you're looking at it as an investment of making your kid a better player, a private lesson probably doesn't really need to happen until there's a, a, a realization that we need to get serious about hockey. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. Okay. And then what was the last part of that question? Sorry. That was it. You hit them all. Okay. Yep. Got them all. That's good. I'll leave, I'm going to leave it there because I'm just going to re-say what you just said. So.